What's up, guys? It's the Jeremy Carey Show. Hey, guys. I'm working out right now. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Lats. Lats. <laughs> Lats. Guys, the question today is how do I build my home garage gym? What's the most important equipment that I get? Well, let's say that you need one thing. So first off, I'd get one dumbbell or one kettlebell. So I'd start with that and I'd use a weight. You know, it's always it's like tricky. It's gotta be a weight that you can use a to for total body. So don't think like I need it for my arms and shoulders to do some of that kind of stuff, but think maybe a little bit heavier so we can do more legs and full body work. So I'd say get one dumbbell or one kettlebell. Now, after that, Jeremy. I don't know, I really like the kettlebell, the 35 and 53. That's a 16 and 24 kilogram kettlebell. And then ladies, I'd say 12 kilogram, 25 pounds. And then you could go up to that 16 or 35 With pounds. With the kettlebell, that function, kettlebell, you can pretty much do everything you ever dreamt of. And you could stop there if you so choose but we're not gonna stop there. So what do you need next? The simplest and cheapest route, I would say, is a jump rope. Yeah. So if you add a jump rope to your metric, you can start to really train cardiovascular health, coordination, eye-hand coordination, foot coordination, a lot of different drills and skills that you can do with a jump rope. So that's my next thing. And then after that, I would say a medicine ball. And I'm really fond of the Dynamax medicine ball because it's soft and dynamic, and you can do a lot of core work plus explosive work. So if you have a kettlebell set, a jump rope, and a medicine ball, you pretty much can train an elite Olympic athlete. Whoa. Some easy add-ons to that if we're still watching the pocketbook and we just want to add some different tools. Bands. Bands are awesome. So you can get those stretchy cord bands, you can do rows, you can press, you can do even stuff with your squats, legs, lateral walks, all kind of resistant work with that. So that's always good. And even some rehab therapy. So if you have some shoulder stuff going on or you need to do some glute activation work, those are great tools. Easy and simple. And also, we always like to say you can travel with a jump rope, band, so these kinds of tools can go with you. Also, if you were traveling in your car, you could take that med ball, that one kettlebell, your jump rope and your mat, and of course, jump on and do our workout. So that's what really makes it mostly accessible and easy for anyone and everyone to do anywhere. Yep, and then the last thing I would say as a simple add is a sandbag with fill bags. So if you can get a duffel bag uh, at your local military resale shop, and put in uh, sandbag fill bags with that. Uh, you can go up to pretty heavy pounds so you can do more strength. So if we're looking at doing things on the cheap, you don't have access to a barbell, bumper plates, metal plates, all that stuff. Sandbag is gonna now start as a man trying to get stronger, I would think like boom, sandbag is a route to make that happen. Uh, and you can just do so many great things. And we got a sandbag workout program Awesome. that you could add to that. Awesome, and, uh, and then Jeremy says, you don't have to go buy a sandbag. You have probably a backpack laying around, maybe something you could do and put some weight in it so that always does work as well. So it's a twofer, right? You can even travel with your backpack, dump all your stuff out, add some weight to it. Or I think I saw Jeremy recently at the airport using his travel bag as a uh, for a workout, bag. so a duffel bag that he used. So that's always a good one. I think and if you're going to the cream of the crop or the tip tip top and what do you want to add because your gym's almost there, a barbell is always fun and especially if you want to develop strength and build strength. Barbells are super fun to work with. And if you've never used a barbell before, it adds so much and it just changes it up and um, talk about a strength component and some skill as well. So that's always fun if you're ready to go into a purchase of a barbell. I definitely say go with something I always say they're a little expensive well, anywhere from a hundred dollars to maybe 250 and yes they go even bigger and better than that but for your home garage gym you don't need anything crazy um, but yeah yeah and then last but not least it would be a stand some sort of uh, barbell rack. stand for a rack for squats presses reverse pull-ups things in that sense that you could do with your barbell. And so uh, with all of that, now you're getting pretty dynamic uh, with what you can do functionally. 
send us any requests that you might have like or questions you might have about equipment and of course our workouts are always posted so jump on check those out and really most of them only require a jump rope a dumbbell a kettlebell and then of course if you have more you can change it up awesome guys have a great week we'll see you next week <laughs>